Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Kevin Costner and Diane Lane co-starred as Clark Kent's parents in Man of Steel. They're paired together again in a fight for their grandson in Let Him Go. It's now in theaters, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. They play George and Margaret Blackledge, a retired couple who are grieving the loss of their son after a horse riding accident. Their daughter-in-law, Lorna, and their grandson live at the ranch until she remarries and abruptly leaves town without warning. One day, Margaret witnesses the abuse that her grandson and daughter-in-law receive at the hands of her second husband. Being the protective grandmother that she is, she and George set out to find them. Lorna's new family have a reputation in town which won't make it easy for George and Margaret to reunite their family. Let Him Go is adapted from the novel by Larry Watson and is written and directed by Thomas Bazooka, whose previous films include The Family Stone and the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. Now, Bazooka already has an easy buy-in from the beginning with the casting of Kevin Costner and Diane Lane. Seeing Ka Costner in a Western family drama is familiar and natural fit for him. The relationship with Diane Lane is already present after they've previously worked together, like I mentioned and I felt right in place on this Montana ranch. Costner gets to play the strong, silent type waiting for just the right moment when there's no turning back. His character George is a, has a different approach than wife Margaret on how to deal with this delicate situation where any wrong move may result in them never seeing their grandson again. Lane has all of those maternal and protective qualities to make her a devoted grandmother willing to do anything to protect her family. Now, with this story being set in the 1950s, there are some old-fashioned gender tropes that come into play. It's a little cringeworthy to hear, but luckily we've worked to change that since the period. George and Margaret come face-to-face -face with the scandalous Weeboy family who seem to run their town. They are a stark contrast to the wholesome values that George and Margaret live by. Leslie Manville plays Blanche, the matriarch of this family, with a vicious, maniacal bent. It's evident why her sons and the rest of her town are indebted to her. Now, there's something uh, that a part of this story that makes it very close to, you know, Dallas-style soap opera, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it may take you off guard. It may seem outlandish, but it's probably closer to reality than I want it to be. George and Margaret's plan isn't fully fleshed out which then makes this movie a little bit wandering in the middle until its explosive ending. Now, there's a reliable trust with Costner and Lane in the Western genre, and their love and protectiveness as grandparents is always present. I'm giving Let Him Go 3 out of 5 ticket stops. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have some other movie reviews, as well as my appearances on Twin Cities Live. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptomovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Let Him Go. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.